This is the Whole Care Network. Helping you tell your story one podcast at a time. Content presented in the following podcast is for information purposes only. Views and opinions expressed in this podcast are solely those of the host and guest and may not represent the views and opinions of the Whole Care Network. Always consult with your physician for any medical advice and always consult with your attorney for any legal advice. And thank you for listening to the Whole Care Network. lot of fun today. Welcome to the Time to Care, the Caregivers podcast, and I am your host, Isabel Mercarejo. Today, I want to talk about feeling guilty about things in our lives. Join me in this conversation where I will be unpacking a lot of guilty feelings that I'm having very recently in my life. Let's get started. So, um, if you follow me on social media, you might have seen a reel in which I am telling everybody that I'm sick and my stomach is burning and people really don't know. Well, people, I'm, I'm referring to people as mostly doctors. They don't know what I have. I haven't been feeling the best ever and last week I was feeling not well at all. Uh, this week the meds have already started making the effects and I'm, I'm feeling way way better but last week I was not feeling well at all and I was feeling a lot of pain and I decided I needed time for myself to heal and to feel better. That's what I did. I took three days of mostly taking care of myself and making sure that I was feeling the best and making sure that I was comfortable and I was feeling perfect and I was just making sure that I was okay. During this time, I noticed that I started feeling guilty for not doing many of the things that I usually do. I, I was feeling guilty because I was not working as much at home and because I put on the side my business and because I was doing the bare minimum that I needed to do. To be honest, feeling guilty for not doing things brought my attention to many issues that I've noticed in many, many, many women that I know, starting with my grandma, who was responsible for my great-grandma for five years while she was in bed. She would feel guilty if she were to leave home and have fun somewhere else. She was feeling guilty for leaving her mom with someone else who would be caring for her and she would feel guilty if she didn't take care of herself. So one way or another you feel guilty. And I've seen that with women that I've worked with when, um, when they have kids, they feel guilty if they stop working because that means that their income is going to get reduced and they feel that they won't be supporting their families as they used to be and on the other hand they feel guilty for leaving their kids at daycare and as caregivers we feel guilty when we leave our parents by themselves and we feel guilty if we care for us as well. So that hap that also happened to me when I married, I started feeling guilty for leaving 
my mom's side and moving with my husband to another country, I was feeling guilty that I was leaving her alone. And I was also, if I wouldn't have done it, then I would have felt guilty for not following my dreams and betraying my myself, my love and my life. I think many of us can relate to this, of these kind of guilty feelings that we're going to have one way or another because it really doesn't matter what we do or don't do damn if you do and damn if you don't kind of thing oof yeah that happens and that happens a lot everybody every woman that i've talked with has had this feeling of at some point in their lives in which they feel guilty one way or another. When this happens, we usually have two options, either to feel guilty for A or for B. <laughs> yeah, pretty much you, you can decide. You decide which guiltiness is gonna be part of your life. Today, having shared two of the experiences that have weighed on me very deeply, the first one deciding to move to another country and now with deciding, not, deciding to take care of myself be, before doing any work or before paying attention to my home or my business or to anybody else, in both cases, I chose myself. And in both cases, I was able to find balance. The reason I am sharing this with you is because I think you should, al you should also do the same and put yourself first. If you put yourself first, you are going to assure that you're gonna, going to be the best version of yourself in whatever you do. For example, if you need time off from caregiving and you don't do it, then you're going to feel guilty about not taking care of yourself. I, I actually want to change and reframe this word because I don't think we should feel guilt. Guilt should be for things where we have actually screwed someone's life even if it's our own, but when you screw someone's life, that's when you should feel guilty. And that's why we should put ourselves first, because when we don't put ourselves first, we're screwing up ourselves. And in these two cases where I put myself first and I was able to find balance, those negative feelings that I had, that feeling of being afraid, that I was not doing enough for my business, or feeling that I was abandoning my mom, which was not true, like she's well taken care of for, but in any of these cases, those negative feelings, I was able to overcome them. I was able put, to put them behind me and I was able to find a solution that would work perfectly for everybody. One of the things when I moved to another country, when I moved to the US, eventually I found balance on how, on how I could care for my mom on the long distance. And during this process, I discovered that I could have the support of my siblings. So I invited them to be part of the caregiving process. And I invited them to be part of the equation, which has led me to have a closer relationship to the three of them, and which has led me to have even a better relationship with my mom. I don't see her as often as I used to, but now I have a, a different relationship because she has, she has seen me grown and we have matured and we have grown together and we, were, we have been able to talk about many things that otherwise we would have never been able to talk about. 
we have been able to talk about our experiences of a married woman and how to how to learn from each other's experiences and that has made us become even closer to come closer to each other and to understand each other better for me putting my my needs first and trying to find solutions and being creative on finding those solutions work pretty well and today i can say that it was a really good decision for me to move to another country because i was able to build an amazing business that i love and in regards to last week when i was feeling guilty for not working on my business and putting myself first i learned that when i put myself first two things have happened the first one is that i can come to this podcast and share my experiences and actually i can relate with you when you feel this way and i can tell you that it is hard to do but it's something that you need to do and you need to do it because when you do it and when you put yourself first then you can give more i yes i took a whole week of not doing anything for my business i didn't contact anybody i didn't i put up i put on hold absolutely everything and this week when i came back when i was feeling better when i was feeling energized when my energy levels were so high so positive because my body knew that i was taking care of myself and all that energy that i put into my body because i was taking care of myself i put this positive energy and i put caring energy into myself has led me to have amazing meetings with with people in in the business this week and i had so many amazing meetings with so many people and i achieved so much that putting myself on hold for those days actually paid off way more than i could have imagined if i wouldn't have stop myself and if i wouldn't have slowed my process i would have gone to those meetings one way or another but with depleted energy and with ener- and with that negative energy that i still had and i am sure that those meetings wouldn't have been as successful as they were today i can say that those two meetings are going to propel this business so high that i that i'm going to be able to share with you and i'm going to be able to to promote and care for many more people let me know what you think about this i would really want to encourage you to leave a review or to share or to comment on this podcast that really helps the algorithms find people like you that are looking for the same kind of advice and i would really encourage you to do that because by doing that you would be you will be helping other people to find me and to learn and to take care of herself. And if you don't know how to manage these feelings of guilt and you don't know how to find balance between being a caregiver and caring for yourself, then grab an hour in my calendar and we'll be able to to share experiences and to share knowledge and let me help you. I am going to put a link to my calendar so you can grab an hour in my calendar and we can talk. So, until next time. This is the Whole Care Network. Helping you tell your story one podcast at a time.